Alright, now that we have the support and resistance down, let's go ahead and talk about the RSI. Okay, RSI tells you if the stock is oversold or overbought. Let's go ahead and look at Amazon. I have Amazon written there. So with Amazon, this is the RSI. We're going to talk about that later. We're going to talk about how to input the EMA, how to put the RSI, how to look at VWAP. So actually, let's go ahead and tackle that right now. So these are called indicators. We have the EMA, we have the VWAP, um, we have the RSI. So I want you to get familiar with the EMA so that you can look at the support and resistance, what we talked about in the last video. And the way you add the EMA, you want to go here and you want to type in EMA. And this is the one that I'm using, 20, 50, 100, and 200 EMA. So we're going to talk about EMA. And actually what I'm going to do is clear this one out so you know exactly what I'm doing and how I pull up the EMA. So you want to go to Indicators. You want to type in EMA and this is the one that I like to use right here I'm going to click that and then all of these lines are going to pop up right all of these lines and it's color coded so the first line here you have the what is it, the 20 EMA then you have the 50 100 and you have the 200 EMA the only one I want to use is the 50 EMA and the 100 or no the 200 EMA so I'm gonna click this get that out of there and I want to click this one here get that out of there and we're done that's it you don't need to do anything else alright so EMA uh, uncheck those the other two boxes and you're good about it same thing with RSI you go here you want to click RSI relative strength index this one right here RSI relative strength index that's the one you want to use now like I said before this tells you if a stock is oversold undervalued or overvalued okay so anything that's under this 30 mark is undersold that's when you want to buy a stock okay it is undersold that is when you want to buy a stock see what happens here not only that it is a supporting area but it's undersold what happened there boom gave you a nice pop uh, let's look at what happened here it went into the undersold value hit the support bounced off this one here oversold that means it's oversold it's too hype it needs to cool off you need some time to cool off anywhere in between here is nice but if it's if it goes over that means it's too hot you do not want to buy way up here because ultimately it's going to fall down it needs to cool off so you see up here just so happen this is the resistance and then it falls down into its comfort zone. All right, so if it drops down. That means it's undersold, uh, which means you want to more than likely you want to buy or think about buying. All right, and up here that means it's oversold. More than likely you want to think about selling. All right, or not buying. You do not want to buy anything when it's so high. It's like going to the store and buying a computer for ten thousand dollars. When you can just wait a little bit and get it for cheaper so that's all it is you do not want to buy when it's all the way up here you want to buy when it's on sale when it's on sale you want to buy here make some good money uh, good return on your investment so that's basically the rsi it's really not that complicated nothing too difficult uh, easy to follow yeah so you shouldn't really have a problem with the rsi